relationship with Irving? Irving was his lost father, really. Um, he hadn't got a father, and so Irving became his father. Irving acted in a very different way from the way people acted in the 20th century. Yet Craig admired him so much that he said that uh, his acting transcended the conventions of his day. In other words, he was an actor who was an actor in his bones, in his body. I mean, he, he was a great actor. Now, in fact, Irving was criticised a lot because he had a rather large nose uh, and, and he tended to speak through his nose and he was also quite tall um, and he was really quite clumsy. But he was such a magnetic actor, particularly in melodrama and in Shakespeare, um, that people forgot that. And um, Irving analysed uh, the way uh, 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 Irving acted. Uh, Craig analysed how Irving acted, and he wrote a book about. He wrote a book about his mother. He also wrote a book about Irving, um, and this again was just after he written the book about his mother, uh, and uh, this was uh, analysed the way uh, Irving acted. So consequently, although all Craig's work went against what Irving believed a theatre should be, Craig could admire the greatness in the man.